What would you do with Fields if the Bears end up with, let's say, one and three in the draft? Are you sticking with Justin, or would you make a move? Honestly, man, it's a tough one. That 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 would be that would be a a, a tough decision for any any exec of anybody. But like, you got to look at it. I look at it from the standpoint of like Fields. He's a talented dude, and if like you know he can really he can really make things happen. And like, truth be told, what is around him? To actually showcase that, because you can go get, uh, you can go get Patrick Mahomes. Like he'll he'll probably do better, obviously. Uh, but you know you got to put some weapons around. You got to put some weapons around somebody. You look at all the top teams around the league uh, on offensive side of the ball, man. They got weapons. They mm-hmm. got two threats, receivers, maybe a tight end threat, running back threat. Like you know, besides more, and I I know all the guys over there. Mooney, like you probably couldn't name like uh, other receivers over there. You know, like I know them personally because like you know I've been yeah. there. But like it's crazy. And then when you think about it from the defensive side of the ball, like you know how good is the defense? Like look at like say for example the Eagles, how good their defense was last year. It, even though Hurts had multiple weapons, when you look at it from my perspective, look at Sam Fran, like Purdy, like he got like three, four all pro dudes <laughs> yeah. on offense. So when you look at it like that, you got to put people actually around somebody. To truly get a picture, because I think if he was like he if he was in a system where he actually had pieces around him, man, I think the dude can like light it up, like regardless, because he'll be a threat very similar to Lamar in my in my uh in my opinion. You had a quote that you didn't want to throw your career down the drain. Was that actually what you meant, or was that taken out of context? Yeah, that was taken out of context because <clears throat> I would never disrespect. Uh, Anyone, uh, by any means, like I'm, I'm not a disrespectful dude. Like I'm more so, least controversial guy. Like I'm not, I'm, I just kind of stay out the, stay out the way, you know, just be, be myself in a sense. And that, um, that comment was taken out of context. I said, I'm happy to be somewhere where I don't feel like as my career would go down the drain from the standpoint of not knowing that Chicago is in a rebuild state. Yeah. Like obviously, every, that's that's known to the world. That's known to. Chicago fans, if they, you know, really, you know, are honest with themselves in a sense. And whereas like here, here in Baltimore, like I have a chance to compete for a title year in and year out, with a really good defense and a really good offense, you know, we're headed by like uh, Lamar over there. So it was more so saying that where I have a chance to truly compete for like a title. Because knowing in Chicago, like the uh, competitive side of me, like when I was there, shoot, I'm thinking I got a chance to compete year in and year out. Like. That's just my mindset because I'm trying to knock everybody off um, in a sense. But then when you truly go somewhere where you actually have a legitimate shot, because honestly, man, there is only each and every year, there's probably like seven, eight teams that have a legitimate shot to make it to the Super Bowl. And like truth, that's just truth be, truth be told. And like knowing Chicago's in a rebuild state, wish them all the best. Don't have no no bad blood. I love a lot of the guys over that way. So uh, on the team and whatnot. So always wishing those guys uh, much success. And how, because of your mindset, like you said, you always thought you had a chance. When you were actually at Chicago, I mean, you played in a playoff game for them, but then towards the end, did you know that you realistically weren't competing for a championship? Or when you're there, you're like, you can't think about anything else. Yeah, man, if I'm being completely honest, like my mental, my mental approach, like I felt like I can compete. I felt like, man, we can get in, like, I'm like, Every second, like, you can start the season off three and four, something like that. Man, we can creep in as a seven seed or whatever mm-hmm. like that, and I can shock the world. I thought I thought <laughs> like that all the time because I, like, I, I said, I can lead this defense. I can lead these guys. All we need is, a, you know, the O can give us maybe 17, 20 or something like that. Then we'll be good. That was just my approach all the time, and, like, I, I, I never wavered away from it, honestly. Yeah. And then now you're on the outside looking in, and you're like, ah, oh, they're in a rebuild. They never had a chance. Yeah, I, I I really realized I really realized when I watched that uh, because they they've had you know Chicago like the big market you're gonna have a lot of prime time games so I watched uh what game was that I watched that Carolina game and mm-hmm. then I really realized like I watched that game and then I watched the Minnesota one and then I was like yeah you know it's it's it's, le- it's levels to it yeah. even levels. in games they won to your yeah point. even in yeah. games they won it's levels to it though it's levels to well, it. 